Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the. Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel, where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Ice, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So I got a little clip that I want to show you guys. It's just super short. I might let it run twice, but here you go. One brace you wouldn't be. I'm not into black women. Oh, <laughs> Why is this always the answer? I need to know this right now. So you think I'm ugly? No, that's not it. You're conventionally a very pretty girl. It's just for preference. I actually tried to kind of see a black girl for a little bit, but I literally, I just couldn't like get into it. Like, I mean, if a girl's half, it's different. But like a girl who's like fully black, I just, for some reason, it's just- So it's just like a preference of skin tone. So you don't like black people. I love black people, but I'm just not attracted sexually to black women. What's one race that you wouldn't date? Definitely Caucasian men. Totally understand. So this is the beauty of preference. Now, a lot of you may take it as this. Now, okay. I want y'all black women that seek the validation of white men, whether you would date them or not. I think there is more black women than would admit it that seek beauty validation from white men. Okay. Let me, y'all need to get something through y'all head. You are not and will never be Mrs. Cartwright. And I say that on my channel a lot as sort of a tongue in cheek kind of thing. But it's real, though. And you could tell she took that personally because when the question was asked of her, she said white men. They don't care. OK, the consensus, the collective of white men all across America. They don't care if black women don't prefer them because you will never be the first choice of theirs anyway. Okay? You are not the first choice. You're not the first choice when it comes to marriage. You're not the first choice when... You're not their first choice. You are black men's first choice and y'all are working overtime to change that. Okay? into not being true but as it stands um your best bet is black men because black men most for the most part find black women attractive because you know we look the same you know what i'm saying you're usually attracted to what look like you but these white men do not care being with a black woman is a, it's like a taboo to a certain extent. It's like experimental on another hand. And it's just not something that when they, when white men, the collective of white men think of their families and they think of the children that they're going to raise and the legacy they're going to leave, leave behind, black women just don't pop up for them in their head it just it don't happen and i wish that y'all would understand that y'all look for so much validation from white men it's like the deeper part of that is like is if white men find you attractive or they find that you that they you know what i'm saying that 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 white men like them or so or they can attract white men they feel like that makes them some some kind of a better woman. It's the it's the Mrs. Cartwright syndrome. Like you you want to be a white man's preference. You want to you've always wanted to be a white man's preference as if it was something to be a white man's preference. Like I think y'all think that y'all have achieved some level, not only of trying to be in the white woman's place, but I think a lot of black women feel 
as though they have achieved some other level of femininity and beauty if white men like them. Because they know that white men go for more feminine women when they when they think of the women that they're going to marry. And black women feel like, oh, I must have reached this acceptable level if white men feel attracted to me. And you care so much about achieving this, I guess, level of femininity that you're trying to achieve a white woman's level of femininity that he would view you in the same spectrum and in the same way that he views his own woman. And somehow that gives you the validation, whether you're with this man personally or not, somehow that gives y'all the validation that you can be Mrs. Cartwright as well. And you cannot, you cannot, you cannot. The self-hatred that a lot of these black women that are trying to go for these brads display is sickening. Because not only do you have a disdain for black men, you have a disdain for yourself as well. Because you view yourself as inferior really to white women. And white men are somehow the standard of men. And I don't get it. And neither do they. And I've said this so many times before as well. White men don't get why y'all like them so much. They don't get that. Especially over and above black men. Because deep down, they know the real deal with black men and black masculinity. They themselves are... Um, enamored of it. White men themselves are enamored of black male masculinity that, that come naturally to the majority of black men. Right? So he doesn't have that natural, he doesn't, the, the, the collective of white men don't exude that natural level of masculinity that black men have a tendency to be able to exude. So a lot of times they use their accomplishments to compensate for it. Well, you know what I'm saying? I'm wealthy or I'm able to do this or I'm able to do that or their ability to have social mobility, more social mobility than black men. So that's a currency that white men have a tendency to lean upon to compensate for the natural masculinity that they see and in some cases envy that black men actually have. So, so what I'm saying is white men understand the, the natural position of black men and how black male masculinity operates. This is what the this is one of the things that the whole system of uh, white survivalism in an institutionalized way really exists to always keep a lid and a watch on black masculinity and always keep that at bay or keep it at a minimum, which is why feminizing black men is such a big deal right? Culturally so, to make sure that the world sees Black men in a more feminine light rather than a more masculine light, when the reality is that's sort of a projection. And I'm getting a little bit deeper into it, but I need y'all to hear what I'm saying. Because overall, white men are seen more as more feminine than the world sees Black men. White men are seen a little bit softer, maybe more ruthless in certain situations, but also softer, if that makes sense. And so you don't see a lot of feminization of white men 
in popular media, movies, music, and so forth. They will portray themselves as the ultimate masculinity, but at the same time will feminize and it is rewarded um, in pop culture, in a pop culture kind of way to think of and portray black men in a more, in a softer, more feminine light and a less masculine light, right? So the collective of white men understand who black men are, which is why they don't have a lot of respect for the black women that will bypass black men to get to them. Cause they're trying to figure out what are you thinking? What's wrong with you? Why? And you don't have any loyalty. That's really one thing. You don't have any loyalty. See, they, they don't look favorably upon the concept of being with you as a black woman. You are the concubine, the whore of the world. And so being with you is more of a fetish, sexual, let me try this thing more than it is let me respect her as a wife material and a woman right and they don't look favorably upon white women who almost exclusively deal with black men either like those women are not necessarily culturally acceptable like white white men don't like dealing with black with white women who deal with black men Usually, if she crosses that boundary, especially if she has a child, she really can't come back to them. Only a low-grade white man would take her at that point. It's just culturally, that's what it is with them. Because you were never to be chosen as a Black person, male or female, for that. You did too much. Sexual conquest, maybe. Wifing up, making a husband, you know, baby daddies having kids. That's, you know, they, that's not too, that's not too hot for them. And she was personally crushed in the woman in this clip was like personally offended that this random white guy didn't find black women a, attractive. I mean, and it's his right not to, who cares? Apparently she cares. Like he just don't, you know what I'm saying? Like he just don't, he ain't feeling it. And okay. Y'all be one white man so bad. And it's like, why? I don't get it. Like are some white guys handsome? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't even really a point. It's the, it's the need for white validation that gets me. But anyways, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your hostess, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.